Hey, it's Maya back with another YouTube video, and as y'all see by the title, today I am gonna be doing the video buying my car with me. Period at 17, your girl bought her own AMG Benz. Do not pull me. We're gonna get into every little detail about the car, how I got the car, the process of the car, everything. First, I just want to say thank y'all so much. Like, I couldn't wait to just thank y'all because when I tell y'all, I just love the support y'all give me. I love how much y'all support me, and y'all, the reason why I can do stuff like this, I can bless myself with stuff like this. Just want to say thank you to my mom and my brother for supporting me because y'all know it's always been us three just want to say thank y'all so freaking much like, i can't it's like i'm speechless i don't even know what to say like, i don't want this to seem like i'm bragging or anything and i don't also want this to discourage anybody i want y'all to use this as inspiration because if i could do it you could do it you know thank you to god to my mom my brother like just thank everybody y'all because i would not be able to do it without none of y'all first i just want to talk about the whole process of why i chose the bins why i chose this car and everything how this stuff ran down if y'all see me looking down because I have my notes written down. When I knew that I was going to be buying a car, I knew that I was going to want to buy the car that I'm going to want for a while. Not even for a while, but I didn't want to buy the wrong car. I started looking at cars like around when I turned 15. I started looking into like Nissans, Hondas, Audis. And I decided to be patient to save up for a car that I like really, really, really wanted, you know? At first, I was just going to get a car like that was just like a cash car. I like, started to look into like Chargers, SRCs and stuff like that. And I just wasn't feeling the car anymore like after I did research on the car. Don't get me wrong, that car would have been very, very, very fun to drive. That car would have been really fun. But the car that I wanted wasn't like the model and the whole, the, everything that I wanted in that car was not in my price range. So I was like, okay. And then I started looking into Benz. Because in my head, y'all, I'm thinking Benz is like very, very expensive. You can't buy a Benz unless you did it. But I started looking into Benz and I'm like, okay, I, this is actually in my price range. I had first looked at old C300s and then I just wasn't, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. And then I had started looking at CLAs and stuff like that. If y'all do know Benz, CLA is the pointy seats. I started looking into that car and that was the car that I was going to really get. I didn't really like the car when I went in person to go look at it. I it just it was just too small for me. Don't get me wrong, this car is small, but the CLA is just way too small. I don't know. It just wasn't for me. I don't know. I just did, I wasn't really into the CLA. And the CLA is basically like the same exact car. It's like a little bit smaller in the back. Hood is a little bit different. The seats are very different. Then I had discovered this car. I was like, okay, this is the car. Like everything was perfect about this car from the size of the car was perfect. Everything about the car was perfect. Come with the LED lights. I was gonna still get the AMG package on it. So once I decided on the A220, I didn't really care for what year. It was honestly just like, if I seen the car that I I want and that's the car that I want. I have the 2019. The car came out in 2019 and it discontinued in 2022. And I don't know why it discontinued, but girl, I don't care because I got my car. Me looking for like the perfect A220 that I wanted. I wanted black on black. I wanted the rims to be 19 inch. Um, I wanted good looking rims. The grill, I wanted the grill to be the crystal grill. And I wanted the AMG package. So the AMG wheel, AMG everything. So the buying process for this car, we were gonna buy the car through my mom's friend's dealership but he wasn't really con it's a freaking school bus right there you probably gonna stare at me he wasn't consistent and then we kind of wanted to hurry up and get the car like before my birthday and stuff so we was like okay let's just go and then okay mind you mercedes like this car is discontinued by mercedes what do you want to do by mercedes calling mercedes no 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 oh. So we were gonna go with the dealership. The reason why we did it was because the freaking interest rate on that shit be crazy. And it, it was just too much. And then my mom's credit. So we went with CarMax again, because y'all know we got our truck from CarMax. And y'all, CarMax, like, y'all be sleeping on CarMax. CarMax is literally, like, process is so easy. It's in my mom's name, so thank you to my mom for trusting me to put it in her name. I put a 
big down payment on a car so my car note isn't that high i'm not gonna say no numbers because privacy reasons like i'm not going to because people be pocket watching went through carmax yeah, i looked up a220s i was looking for like months y'all like i could not find a car that i really really wanted that i really really wanted and then this car popped up so this car popped up only perk about this car that it was all the way in bakersfield california so we had to pay Money to get this shit shipped so we paid the money we got it shipped we got it reserved so it was okay bet it's our car i asked her i was like don't surprise me i just want to give them the money and get the car and we done so she was like okay 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 so she didn't but she did trick me though my mom tricked me saying that the car like something happened with the car or something like that so comes my birthday everything was just going wrong with my birthday but it ended up being a really, really good birthday. Not because I got the car, just in general. Like, it just ended up being, like, a really good birthday. Like, that day on my birthday, she was like, do you want to go look at the car? And I'm like, what? I thought, I thought something happened to the car. And she was like, nah. I don't care. I brought the money with me. We went back to go get the money. And then we went to the dealership. We got the car. And, yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and put the footage in there when I got the car and everything. And, yeah. I'm going to get my car. Stop playing. Stop fucking playing. I'm going to fucking cry. Like, dude, I'm going to cry. Sorry, y'all, this hair is getting all over the place. Hopefully, we can get it. They close at 7, and it's 6.08 right now, so. Our salesman isn't here. He's out of town, but he had targeted us to another salesman, and they're basically saying we have to get insurance today, so hopefully, we can just do all of that, and it won't be, like, a big deal. But I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, y'all, I cannot wait to see the car in person. Like, I at least just want to see the car in person. Cause y'all, it took me so long to find a car that I actually wanted because y'all know I'm buying my car. I researched on so many kinds of cars and once I found that one car, it, was, it took me even longer to try to find like each thing was perfect. Cause I don't feel like getting like all my rims changed and stuff and I can just pay the same price for some rims that I like, already want in my car, you know? But I'ma see y'all when we uh, figure out what we doing. We gotta hurry up cause six six fifteen ma. Let's just look at the cars, y'all. You should like that it's a hot? Yeah. Oh, and it come yeah. with LED lights too. Available. Um, about scanning it? Or yeah, something? just scan the QR code and okay. we'll tell you if it's available. Okay, thank okay. you. And that's how the seats, not, this is not how the seats, not, not the like pointy shit. Cause you see how tiny this one kind of is? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like that. Cause I, it was from between this one and the one I got. Mm. These are nice as fuck. Yeah, they don't got it. Oh wait, they do got it. Oh wait. Is this the car? Oh, this is the car. <laughs> How he's gonna pull it up and just look at it. Ah, it's so pretty. Okay, it's 2019 and it only has 22k miles on it. This is perfect. Ah, it's so pretty. Yeah. It's hot. It's hot, y'all. The car isn't on yet because it's parked in the front. I'm trying to get it, but. Pew, <laughs> pew. <laughs> How you feeling? How you feeling? Good. <laughs> Period. Big girl purchase. Good body needs. Big 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 Right, because period. Because God, God is exactly. God is. Period. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them fucking rims and everything. Oh, 
Okay, y'all, so real, 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 real quick, just to explain something right quick. Those clips that y'all just watched, I didn't get the car yet. Like, we didn't get the car yet because we were still waiting on the guy to, like, make sure everything was good, you know, back in, sign all the paperwork, get the insurance added. I even gave them the money and everything. Like, CarMax, they closed at 8 o'clock, and it was literally time to go. So I didn't know that my mom literally, like, signed all the paperwork, did everything in the back end, and knew I was getting the car the entire time, but tricked me so saying that we might not get the car. My mom was talking to the guy for a good, like, long minute. And the car was gone because the car was parked in the front. I told y'all the car was parked in the front. And the car had left. Like, the car was gone. So I was like, dang, like, so I might not be getting it, right? So my mom had came back after, like, a good minute, like, 30 minutes probably. And it was already, like, CarMax was already closed. It's like, 8-something. They closed at 8. CarMax was already closed. My mom came back. And she was like, we couldn't get the car. Couldn't get the car. Even, she even, I wish she recorded this part because it was so, like, like, bro, I believed it. She even got the workers on it saying that we couldn't get the car. Like, the, literally the worker was saying, like, um, yeah, we um, can try to try again another time. Even, like, the other worker, the girl worker was saying, like, we could try again another time. My mom literally started crying. I'm like, so we really not getting the car? So at this point, it was my birthday. Everything was already going wrong. I was like, okay, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I'm not going to let shit get to me. I was okay with it. So we was walking out, right? As we was walking out to the car, they had parked my car right next to my mom's car. And that's when I seen the car. So yeah. Still remember how you tried to I, I got you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You too. Thank you. My girl hard You deserve it, baby girl. Oh my god. We got her. She didn't think we I can see it on the face. She's like She's like, I'm fine. It's just materialistic stuff. I'm fine. <laughs> But did I get you at least? Yes, you got me. Like, oh my gosh. Come on, I'm not even this emotional. But tears of joys, baby. Oh. I'm proud. I'm so Thank proud you so of much. you. You are so welcome. You Ooh. deserve it in the world. Sometimes when you get in here, we did it, Joe. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Hey. Okay. You call them door, you try to get it out. And you open this door while you drive it. Wait, what now? So basically, I didn't hear him. You can't open this door while you in drive. Oh, okay. You're straight in the park, no matter how fast you go. Oh, really? I was joking. Like, she, I got it in the drive. Okay. Yeah, you, no, 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 no. you wanted a picture? So, right there, you can put your name, Mercedes, how it's going. Yay. Oh, what? A AMG, baby. Oh, my Oh, it's so fitch, you mama. She was in there. She was recording. She had my phone. She was recording when she was like, I'm sorry. She was. Honey, they are all in on it. I know you did so good because I was like, hey, no way you got him on it. Like, <laughs> so I was like, oh my God. But then I looked for a second. I'm like, mm, I don't know. My Yay. Hey, Hey. Hey. Oh my God. Is so that your birthday going great? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, wow, driving for the first time. My sister riding what? Oh, it's right here. AGV. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait. How do you. Not on, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> okay, she didn't even go, though. <laughs> Let's see how this is. Y'all. In the garage, smooth stop. Oh, my freaking God. I know, y'all. Listen to this whole roar when you drive. Yes, bro. Y'all is like a freaking dream. Dream come true, y'all. Oh Literally. Like, dreams turn into 
Let me see if it could do. You see why I do that? y'all so this is the outside of the car it's a lot to it but none none too much so first this is front i gotta take this front tag off i don't like how that look i'm gonna take that off soon this grill you can't really see it in the daytime but at night it's so freaking like it's just it gives you know so you got a little crystal and bezel into it and i really love this grill like i really wanted this grill it was either this grill or i was gonna either change it out to another grill i put on the screen then they got the mercedes logo and then they got the little sport package because this is amg line it has a sport package with it it comes with like this right here and then it got the led headlight and then the wheels are also amg these rims are so freaking nice like oh my gosh i don't know if i should paint my calipers in like black the rims out or if i just paint my calipers i don't know because i really want them pink even though the car's a boy and then it has the amg logo on the rims as well y'all super cute and don't mind my windows they gonna get tinted tomorrow yeah so let's not mind the the fishbowl right now we're gonna get them tinted yes yeah, so it has the silver trim on the handles and on the the window as well yep 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 come to the back i'm across the um thing out has led lights of course a220 and formatic so if you guys don't know what formatic is it's just basically like all four wheel drive i'm out of breath <laughs> it's hot as hell y'all yeah and y'all my favorite feature like literally is like this is how you open the trunk yeah so if you got a whole bunch of groceries in your hand you can just open the trunk like that pop that bitch open and then this is a trunk this is like really a good size trunk and the good thing about it you can let all of these seats down so if you got like something big you're trying to fit in the back seat then you can just gotta let all of them down i think that's you do it like right here let's see if i can do it real quick and then you basically just go back there and push it down and then under this has the mercedes handbook oh that's this like is a mercedes benz head we haven't opened this yet y'all and this is just mercedes benz but yeah, y'all, so it's really spacious back here. It really is. It really is. Like, I could fit back there. You probably could. You want to try? Hmm. Yeah. So I can't fit back here. Mm. Not, not too much. Not too much in my house right now. This ain't like the Tahoe. And then the gas is on my side. Thank God. And yeah, that's basically the outside of the car, y'all. It's super cute. Like, whoever really designed this car really came through with the little silver trim. The rims are so fine. Everything is just so cute, so cute. That's the outside of the car. This shit is just so fucking hard. Like, fuck, bro. This shit is just so hard. Like, even in the daytime, you can still see it. Like, I was so thankful. Like, I'm gonna cry just so hard, bro. I've had like three different hairstyles in this video. Don't mind it, y'all. It's just been, been very, very busy trying to get this video, you know, filmed and stuff. And I don't even have my phone in here. But yeah. So, first, we're gonna start with how like you change gears and stuff. So, it's right here. You go drive, reverse, because y'all see how the good the camera look, and then look, you can also have it like 362. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that either. Yeah. I didn't know that either. We just yeah. learning as we going. The wheel, y'all, it's an AMG wheel. It got a little flat bottom, so you know when you cutting up in traffic, it don't hit your knee. It's right here, it's like just like the little seat adjuster, and you know it can have it can have like three people. Everything got seat warmers too. I haven't turned those on yet because it's been hot. Turn those back on. Lock or um, unlock button. This is just regular stuff. You know, move your mirrors and stuff. This is your emergency brake, and then this right here is basically like your little headlights and everything. I just have an auto because you know I'm not trying to do all of that. And and then right here is of course your windshield wipers and then your blinkers and then how you turn on your brights and everything okay so say your key dies right yeah if your key dies you put it right here and then you can start it still you know how like oh, how, our shit how broke how the dying shit mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. it's like a little key thing right there so this is where your charger goes it's actually usc and then of course your vents and everything this is basically all of your like basic stuff how you turn your air up how you turn mm -hmm. your hazards on all of that stuff this is what really gets like into technology and everything but we're gonna come back to that go up here first this is so cool because it has different kind of lights like this is like all around lights and they're yeah. actually very very bright then it has a literally like a reading light on each side so like if you in a passion scene and you're reading the book but you don't want to have that bright ass light on you literally have your reading your reading light on this shit like a mini limo that's what i was saying yeah <laughs> 
God. <laughs> Of course, is where your glasses go. This is the sunroof. I'm gonna leave yeah. that open just for a little bit of big ass sunroof. Big ass sunroof. Period. Panoramic. Like a truck. Not playing. This is like really really cool. That comes with the Mercedes. This is basically SOS. So say for example, if you pulled over, not even pulled over, if you on the side of the road broke down and your phone is dead or something, you can do this SOS button and it'll call mm -hmm. like Mercedes. It will send somebody to help you basically. Mercedes me. It comes with the car. We I will get into that because it's gonna be in this little thing. Now this is the one thing I. I don't like about this car this little ass mirror is cool because we're gonna get all that decorated in this thing this right here you know the regular smuggler it comes with another usc everybody asks what this is all you do is literally just like it's like a little hand thing this is touch screen touch screen and then this is touch screen too so if you just don't want to oh. oh fuck no they're gonna lie what the fuck <laughs> Well, that's the radio if y'all want to listen to the radio. If your phone is connected to the car and then you kind of want to call people and stuff, the radio, media, and then this is the navigation system. Right here, basically go to your favorites. You could put anything in here, you know, that you want to be your favorite. This goes to the settings of a car. This little car, car. settings? Yeah, this is the car setting. So, like, basically, you want to do all that extra stuff. So, mm -hmm. this is how you go back. This is how you, you know, switch music. And then this is your volume up and volume down. And, y'all, this car really gets loud. Like, for real, for real. And then this is if you want to be in eco, comfort, sport, individual, you know, the regular stuff. So now let's go ahead and get into this. So basically, I have it in sport. We're going to get to all of that, how you can change like little settings and everything. But I have the display in sport. So I thought it was so cute, like little yellow and everything. This is basically just your gear shift right here. This is your miles per hour. And then it tells you the weather. That is definitely wrong. It is not 93 degrees outside. It's the time. That's wrong too because this car used to be in California. I gotta change all of that, y'all. Yeah, just like the regular stuff this is your tank. And then you know, if you're in comfort, you know, if you change it to eco, you know, this is just basically your phone. Like what phone is connected? You can message people on here, call people like with this. If your phone is connected to the actual car, not CarPlay. And this car does have CarPlay. You just have to connect it. It's not wireless. This one is your radio, you know, if you want to listen to the radio. And then this is your comfort. So in comfort, this seat kinetics thing, it's like basically I have it on. So basically saying you like your seats right here and like um right here will like move and like adjust you. So it's not like a massage, but it will adjust you. So like you won't get cramped up and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that can be for your passengers as well too. And then, you know, your ambient lighting. Favorite feature of this car because it's so cool, y'all. Y'all have 64 colors to choose from. You can do multiple color as y'all can see or you can do you know do any color you want oh, yeah. which is so fucking hard y'all like mercedes really did that shit with them led light bye <laughs> and yeah you can just have like different modes in the car and everything also have it on where it like fades different colors and everything so yeah that's the led light y'all so the girl she's we're gonna show them what i'm on right now man we're here making some money man watch me hit Stand, we got 20, 24 bus. Win, win, win. Hey, you talking about? Hey, you talking about? This is like the technical stuff for the car, like that, like the vehicle, the engine, the consumption, consumption, the oper operators, man. <laughs> Operators manual and all of that stuff. Okay, and this is a Mercedes me and app. So basic buy you can literally go on here Like if I pay for a little internet connection because it's like $15 a month I can literally have like internet on here like Wi-Fi like, You know if you have kids or something and they're in the back seat and they don't got like service on the iPad You can connect them to the hotspot or to the Wi-Fi basically this car also comes with literally like internet So like you can literally look shit up on here like say for example if I want to look up like a recipe I can literally look this up, but I don't have it because I didn't pay for it I might not pay for it because I might not need it, you know and then smartphone basically same 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 and then mercedes me i don't have mercedes me also but mercedes me is basically an app that you get let me show you the app um can they see my phone mm -hmm. mercedes me is basically an app that you can get and you can literally like i'm not gonna show everything but you can literally like it'll tell y'all like if you need an oil change if your tires like need some more air in them if for example like it's cold in the morning you can literally start the car from your phone your phone is literally like a key basically so it's giving tesla for real if you really think about it it has esp which is basically eastern standard pacific <laughs> yo um, y'all know this little signal if y'all took a little permit test it was on the test um, it's for rain it's raining real bad you make sure you turn that on yo. and then active brake assist so say for example 
example, if I'm in front of a car and I'm not paying attention on my phone, it'll break for me. Blind spot assist, that's the little that's a little signal that tells you on the side of the car. If you're, you know, not doing anything, if you're not hand on the wheel, it'll like alert you, I guess. It just it has a whole bunch of like belt adjustment, seat adjustment. Like it's just a whole bunch of like just very technical stuff that y'all really probably don't even care about. And then the lights, of course, same kind of thing, ambient light, you can you know do like all of that. And it this controls like the lights on your apps like outside of the car as well, too. So period. And then system. So this is what I was saying, how like I have it in sort of designs. You can change it to like classic where it'll just be like very simple looking, it won't be yellow or nothing. But I like sport, like I, I so you have your controls, audio, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, language, time and date. And I really need to change that shit, actually. So we're going to change that after the video. And software update, dang. You need a software update? But yeah, system backup. Say, for example, if I get another Benz, then I can literally put all my settings I did on this car into the other Benz. So that's basically what that is. Mm. And I can reset the entire car. So I probably should have done that when I got the car. So that's basically the whole front of the car. So y'all, it also has LED lights back here as well. The It doesn't have the little button that every car kind of has. So then it has just like the regular we can lock and unlock it. Window button, speakers, and then it has this net for back here. Of course, your air vents. Bro, this is my favorite part of the car. It got the fast charge USC and it got two of them too. So nobody phone is dying in my car, period. Of course, it got like little seat buckles for, you know, kids and stuff. And then, I haven't even done all this, y'all. And it has little cup holders, period. Of course, it has the light. Y'all can't really see it, but it has the light. And then, you can also, like, let these down as well, too. So, that's basically the inside interior of the car and the outside. So, hope y'all... We're gonna put it in sport, y'all. It's a sport. Let me show them it's a sport. Ooh! That bitch get up. That bitch get up, y'all. Like, this is a fun car for real. Alright. Yeah, put your seatbelt on, actually. She always having something at her house. <laughs> oh, God, though. That shit deep. See, they see, they knew that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, shit. Get up, man. And one thing, y'all, the brakes on this shit are really, really good, too. Like, Like an SRT, what? like oh, so they gotta fun. hear that bit. Yo, fuck you, talking about eighty dollars, nigga. I just lost eighty and got it right back. Period. <laughs> hey, <Fuck. you're> talking <laughs> about. <laughs> going to go and get that shit up, man. Yeah. Hit a hundred. I'm about to hit a hundred and eighty. You don't even got that on the dash. I'm gonna still do it though. Oh fuck no. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, little drive. Just want to show y'all how it drove and sport and whatever. Like, not too much. One motion. So, hey y'all. We have done the inside of the car tour, the outside of the car tour. Um, I done told y'all the process of how I got the car and now we about to get into answering some of these questions that y'all asked but I had asked y'all to ask me some questions on Instagram just if anything y'all want to know about like the buying process or, like just anything about the car so I'm gonna answer about like 10 I'm not gonna answer too much because I basically answered every question I feel like it's definitely blur somebody asked how did I get approved <laughs> 
pretty sure whoever asks like whoever's asking this probably thinks that it's like in my name and I'm older but I am 17 I can't technically put a car in my name I can but the insurance will be like really really high and I would have to get a co-signer so it just made sense for my mom to just go ahead and put it all in her name so thank you to my mom we did buy it through CarMax and I know a lot of my friends not even like friends just associates people I know their experience with CarMax and they're like they're probably like a little bit older they're like over 18 they went through CarMax and they got approved me every single time i thought like oh car max i'm thinking like oh no 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 like that's not a good place to get your car from but we've had nothing but good experiences fast experiences like the day i ordered this car the shit got shipped it took almost a week only to get it shipped and it came all the way from bakersfield california that's a cross country and depending on your credit score the interest rate because my mom's credit score isn't like top tier and the interest rate isn't that bad at all and i just went too far and it's definitely blurry but y'all just gonna have to deal with it for a little bit how long did it take you to save for it so i only saved for the down payment a lot of people thought that i paid in full and that would have kind of been a little dumb because 30 paying 30 in full i can go literally buy i can go put a down payment on a house like no it didn't take me that long because i saved up two times the first time i had to pay for something the first time and then i had saved up the second time so it probably took me like a year to save up like i could have been really about the car if i really wanted to so it probably took me like a couple months to save up i don't really know the exact somebody said is it hard to get a Benz? it is not as hard as y'all think it is I wouldn't say it's easy to get a Benz, but it's not as hard as you think, as people perceive it as. It depends on the class you get. It depends on your credit score, if you have credit, how much you put down, what your financial state is. It just all depends on that stuff. So I don't want to make it seem like it's really easy to get a Benz. I'm just trying to say it's not as hard. Because for me, I thought it was so hard to get a Benz. Like, I thought, not even so hard technically. I just thought it was so much different than what it really was. Like, if you really do your research, it's really not that hard to get a Benz. Especially, and like, you don't got to go through CarMax. You don't got to go through like all this. You can go through Mercedes and it's still not that hard. Because we was going to go through Mercedes, but they wasn't consistent. They wasn't trying to find the car that i wanted so i just went with carmack because if y'all didn't know the car is discontinued it's definitely not hard to get a benz it's really not somebody said do i have a car note yes i have a car note but the car note isn't that high because i put down a good amount i put down like and another perk with carmack say if you don't want to put down a lot you don't have to because like you can literally honestly i've heard people say they didn't put any money down car note is going to be high as fuck but you know it's still a uh, still a possibility for you not to put really anything down but i put like 40 percent down i have to turn the air on a little bit y'all it's so hard currently in the process of saving my down payment how did you save it's so hard so my job is youtube so if y'all wondering like because people from my instagram don't know that i really do youtube or that i really get paid off youtube youtube is my job so every single time i would get a paycheck where that would be from like sponsorship or just adsense i would take a percentage out and put it in cash because i can save cash i can't save online like, i can't do that save like bank account or nothing like that i like to save cash so i will go to the bank i'll take out some cash and i'll put it in like an envelope or something and i'll just save that cash every single paycheck and you know once you get to your like desired down payment or desire amount that you want to put down you know you saved up another thing is i always always make sure i take money out before i go spend anything on anything i gotta take the money that i'm gonna save out before i go buy anything else like if you watch my videos you could tell like i don't really be buying that much stuff i just was like okay i'm putting this car first like if you're trying to buy a thousand dollar shoe be like no i'm not gonna get that shoe until after i get this car you know you have that mindset and another thing another thing i want to say with buying a car or just anything in life you have to really have the mindset to know that you're gonna get this car like you have to know you have to tell yourself that you're gonna get this car no matter what you're gonna get this car 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 you're gonna get this that this that if you really put your mind to it and you work hard and you stay prayed up everything make sure you just have the mindset you have to speak stuff into existence and just know that you're gonna get this car you know and be patient too I just had to say that little tip before we go on to the question. How long have you been wanting this car or a new car in general? I haven't had a car yet. I literally just turned 17 like a couple days ago. Not a couple days ago, like a couple weeks ago. So I've been wanting a car since I was my twin right there. I've been wanting a car since I was like 15, 16. Even 15, y'all, because I was like, I kind of want a car at 15. Because I'm always let me drive at 16. But I'm not going to talk about that. But yeah, i just been wanting a car and um, a Benz. I've been wanting a Benz since the beginning of this year. Because again, Benz was not my first choice. 
nice at all it was either like a cash card and then i was like okay let me just be patient let me wait and get a car i actually wanted and then it was like it was chargers it was, and then i was like that's not in my price range and i'm like really i'm still really young so i was like okay, let me just wait then it came to a bins i started doing my research on the bins and i was like this is really not that hard to get a bins like, i could really do this if i really put my mind so i can get this bins and thank you to my mom also because without my mom i would not be having this car right now how did you get your credit right so me again i don't have a credit but i do know about credit i know about all of that stuff even though i still am young okay first if you're my age you need to ask one of your parents to put you on their, one of their credit cards so when you do turn 18 you will have a credit already and then another thing is like get credit cards like put like little stuff on your credit card and pay that off like your netflix account put that on your credit card but don't put no don't put no big ass payment on your credit card knowing you're not gonna be able to pay it off just put little shit so you can pay it off and just like certain stuff like that that's like just a little bit little some some somebody said what do i have gotten besides the car i got now this is the car that i wanted is was no other card no competition over this car this is the car that i want and i think it's just so perfect did you like this car better than the dodge Char charger or hellcat um yeah i mean i never drove one before that. yes honestly yes this car is lit like it's fast technology is good but this car was like perfect it's like i just everything about the technology the safety like everything and it's fun too everything in this car is just like really perfect the only thing i would say that i don't really like about the car it's really small but it's like a good kind of small like it's not too small to the point where it's like like it's not you know like manageable but it, it is smaller it is on the small side that's the only thing i really don't like about it but everything else girl it can be small i don't care but yeah, when oh, so somebody asked what did I name the car, I named it YT Draco because YT can either stand for Young and Turn or YouTube. So YT Draco, it sounds cringy, but it's cute. It'll, it'll rub off. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. If you have any questions in the description below, y'all can ask them. So, ask them in the comment section and stay tuned for the decorate my car with me because I am about to decorate. I'm not gonna decorate it too much though because I, I think it's enough, you know. But I am still gonna add some stuff for all of that. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video again. I appreciate y'all so much. And hold up, cause baby, oh my phone is dead. But I'm gonna put a screenshot. Your girl hit 300k this morning. I hit 300k this morning, and I just want to say thank y'all so freaking much. Like I really wouldn't be here without y'all. Thank I just thank everybody that is literally supporting me through all of this. And happy 300k. Like way more to come, cause I love y'all so much. I will never quit on y'all. And yeah, so a million on the way. Do not play, baby. We are 200k away from half a milli. Like that's fucking crazy. It's crazy. Thank y'all again. And I will see y'all in my next video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And my camera is blurry, but it's okay because this was only like three minutes of the video. So yeah, so I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.